If you're an Auburn fan, you woke up this morning, felt like a bad dream last night, and I don't blame you because there's some feeling of like, what, what just happened? Final score was Auburn 10, Mexico State 31. And like I said, feels like a bad dream, a lot to unpack within this one, but I think we need to just kind of take a, take a beat, assess this for what it is, and look at what's ahead right now for Auburn. So first things first, make sure you're subscribed to the On3 YouTube channel. Ball, nothing but ball, every single day of the year. Well past when they're done playing games, we're going to still be talking college football. Also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at Jody Paquel. Let me know what you think of where Auburn is right now, under Hugh Freeze in year one. Because we could try and unpack the game and look at what Auburn didn't do well offensively and what they didn't do well defensively and allowed 31 points in that kind of game against New Mexico State. At the end of the day, though, like unpacking the X's and O's from a game like this, in my opinion, it's pointless. It's pointless because X's and O's, I mean, that's not really necessarily like what you should be pointing to if you're Auburn. For Auburn, this should never happen. Like Captain Obvious, right? This should never happen. The roster that Auburn has should beat New Mexico State in their sleep. Okay, so you can look at what you didn't do well from a gameplay point of view. But at the end of the day, like you're not wondering if you're a worse team than New Mexico State. You play that game 100 times, Auburn should win it 99. And I think we just saw the one right there. So if it was year three under Hugh Freeze, I think you're hitting the panic button. Saying, oh boy, we hired the wrong guy. What are we doing? Where are we at now? It's been three years. This is a problem. You can still be upset about this. Like, I don't think you excuse this by any stretch of the imagination. This is bad. This is very, very bad, and there is no excuse to lose a game like this. Now, to the, the exact same token, I think we have to be responsible with how we assess this in the context in which we assess this. Because what this is to me is another data point. And we can be as upset as we want at this data point, but if we view it as the entire graph, then I think we've totally just taken the wrong approach with viewing year one under Hugh Freeze. This is one, so far, of 11 data points. And this is the lowest point on the graph, but there's also some really high points on the graph. Playing the back-to-back -back national champs within a score. Beating the breaks off Arkansas last week. What I see here isn't a bad coach. I don't see a bad team. I don't see a roster that has no talent. I see a team that's in year one, making year one mistakes, taking their eye off the ball, and losing the game they're not supposed to lose. Okay, now... This is the example everyone's going to point to today, but I think we would be remiss if we didn't at least mention it. Nick Saban also had a loss like this during his time in Alabama. Lost to Louisiana Monroe. It's embarrassing. You hate it. But like at the end of the day now, Nick Saban's not thinking back to that game too frequently, I would imagine. Got some hardware on the, on the mantle in Tuscaloosa by nature of what he did after that. And so I'm not saying that Auburn's going to go win national titles because of a game like this, but I do think we have to just assess all of this and say, okay, it's year one. It's horrific. It's inexcusable. Does it define Hugh Freeze in his first year? I don't think it should. If anything, I think it just shows, okay, yeah, we got a ways to go. Yeah, okay, that is, that is the lowest point. That is the floor for us here is a game like that. If we don't show up and play, we are not talented enough to just walk out there, lace them up, and beat anybody. There still is a fair amount of solidifying, I think, within Hugh Freeze and this football team that has to take place. Because in my mind, the process of winning football games and the process of getting to being a winning football team has two pieces. The first of which is acquiring the right talent, building the right roster. I think Auburn, by nature of how active they've been in the portal, how they're working on the recruiting trail, I think they're taking the right steps in that department. I think they're moving towards the right place for that roster now is it a completed product by nature of how it went yesterday I don't think so but again talent wasn't why you lost that football game lack of focus lack of preparation lack of execution that's why you lost the football game Hugh Freeze was asked about effort last night I mean you could point to effort if you want to I go back to lack of focus I go back to the way they executed which I think goes hand in hand second piece of this is how you put those pieces together on your roster. And that's, this was our concern going into the year with Auburn. And I'm not pointing to this game being like the embodiment of the concern, but I do think it's fair to say, like, there's a lot of new pieces at Auburn. Your quarterback did not get spring football. 
Okay, that, that means something. I don't know if it means something right now, but I think it just kind of goes to show there were so many pieces that were talented at Auburn, but you're still trying to get it to gel with this first-year staff. So what it is right now is not what it's going to be in the future. And I say this a lot about first-year coaches. You can say the same thing about Billy Napier at Florida right now. You say the same thing about Hugh Freeze. He's there for a reason, and it's not because the head coach before him took a better job. He's there to fix the house. And we understand this too. Like for year one for Hugh Freeze, it was always house money. Like it was, hey, make a bowl game. Great. Great. This team went five and seven last season. This team was in disarray last season, trying to find a way to eke out wins with Cadillac Williams as your head coach. Like, I think, I think the direction of Auburn is much more important than where they're at right now. They're on the climb. And it's going to be a climb with more bumps and more bruises. But now I think if you're going to be you know transparent about the whole thing, for Auburn, you get to check the response mechanism because it does not get any easier right now because you got Alabama, who is arguably the hottest team in college football, coming to Jordan-Hare next weekend. And if Auburn wants to just kind of mail it in and say, oh, well, this New Mexico State game kind of took the life out of us. Oh, well, maybe we aren't really that good. Oh, well, we find out what's under the hood right now if we're Auburn. And if I know anything about Hugh Freeze, I think he's going to use this and create a sense of urgency for his football team. I think they'll play much better next week against Alabama. And I think we'll see a real a real response from this team. So again, this is horrible. There's no way around it. Nobody's excusing it. Nobody's saying it's a moral victory. You can turn it into something in the future. But I do think you look at this and say, okay, it's a data point. It's year one. It's house money. We're bowl eligible. Like, let's keep the main thing the main thing. Understand this was never a year where it was going to be an SEC title or going playing for the college football playoff. Like, it's about the build. Hugh Freeze is there to fix up the house. And the house previously was in shambles. Got a lot of nice new pieces in the house now, doing some renovations. It's going to take a second for it to all totally get done and look like his football team. And I'll say this too. Whenever Auburn is a Hugh Freeze football team, whenever he can say without a shadow of a doubt, okay, that's my kind of team. They look like my team. They play like my team. They operate like my team. They execute like my team. When that all is true, they won't lose games like this. I think they'll be playing for a lot more than just bowl games going forward and where they end up playing when it comes to December. So Auburn, you hate it. It hurts. Let it hurt. But let it hurt to the point where you play better next week in the Iron Bowl because you'd beat Alabama. We talk about album cover wins a lot on this show wins that you slap on the cover of your season and say that defines us that's the one that we're using as momentum going forward to 2024 album cover opportunity next week against Alabama in Auburn so we'll talk about it we'll break it down when it gets here make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it we appreciate y'all being dialed in follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Judy Pakel. let me know your level of concern coming away from a game like this you know how we feel about it We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. We're going to keep this party rolling, and we will see y'all next time. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.